Hello, fellow dragons. Sorry for that, my timer was a bit late. But it doesn't matter. Uh, last time, we just defeated two gunships. That will be uploading soon. Uh, actually, has already been uploaded. Uh, up uploaded. You should see it soon. Actually, you should be watching episode one if you haven't, uh, if you're just skipping ahead. Because it'll make more sense. Crumble, crumble. Fun fact, crumble is a type of English food. Kinda like a apple, kinda like a pie. Except, uh, crumbly, I'd assume. It's got, like, a really crumbled up, uh, top. Tosp? Yes, you get the tosp. Tosp, poor though. It's got a really crumbled up top. It's supposed to be tasty. I don't know about it, though. Here we are in the wretched place that is Nova Prospect. <coughs> With my clogged up uh, nose. There's a dead uh, soldier. Which I can, of course, walk through. Elite skills, bro. Alright. Here's where you get introduced to the turrets. Yes, I'm pretty sure you get introduced to the turrets here. I don't know if they're introduced to any earlier or later. Can't be too sure. Also, I wonder where their bullet supply comes from. Like, I know, I know there's teleportation technology in the uh, game, or in the Half-Life universe. So, like, how uh, how strong would this be, and how compact would this be? Like, could you have a portal inside of a turret? That would help. Any questions on that? Not help you, I mean, uh, <coughs> load, tur load bullets in while keeping them upright. And, you know, in the generally right direction. I know that is not bad audio quality in my, uh, in my, uh, part that is from, uh, the game's part. But they meant, meant to be like that. I think he hits the camera. No, he doesn't. He just walks off. Turrets, things, yeah. So, uh, there's one, there's one scary moment in games, and that is when they give you a health pack, usually, and a charger pack, or like a thermal pack. Because, like, <clears throat> like a lot of them, or something, to heal you up. Especially when they just show you a bunch of enemies around the place. And a bunch of, like, hostile environments, because that means there's a boss up in here. In this case, the boss being the Antlion Guard. Oddly silent, sil sil silent in here. Push. Oh, nothing, nothing behind there. Leave it up to them. Uh, hello, turrets. I'm gonna touch you. Ah, jeez. <coughs> okay, fine. Don't shoot me. Okay, easy enough. Isn't this the uh, place with the electrified water? I don't think it is. No, it's just water. A bit toasty though. Don't vomit on me. I just got this suit cleaned. The uh, last year. <laughs> Blah. And he vomits everywhere. Wait, do you just drop blood? Like, do these things drop blood, or uh, do the actual barnacles drop blood when you get when you shoot them? Oh well, it doesn't matter. Uh, did I just was that actually glass I was supposed to break, or was I supposed? To... Ah! That scared me more than it should have. Okay. What the? Headhumper's coming through the roof. Guess that's what Barton calls him. Alright, well, uh. Stupid part of that scared me. Push you to the hole. 
in there. Yes, I guess I'm actually making you watch me push head grabs or fast head grabs into a hole. Quality. Anyway, uh, SMG bug bait or her pots. Okay, creepy noises. I heard turrets. Where would these turrets be? Right behind me? No. This is the area with all the antlines. <coughs> Excuse me for my voice. Oh, it says my pulse rifle's full. Okay. Uh uh. Uh uh. Now I know why they gave me grenades. Wait for it to go out. I'll do it. Should I do it? Yes, it shall. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, AR2 and bug bait. If you want to mind doing that, it's a good so I can quick switch. Mm, nothing in here. There's nothing of worth to me. So I'll just continue onwards. Back to the future. Yes, uh, also, Lambda. I like Lambs. Also, I wonder if you can see that Lambda locator thing in the bottom right. I'm pretty sure you can. I mean, I got. It's in the scheme overlay. So I'm pretty sure you guys can see it. <coughs> Loading. Of ammo. Who doesn't love the ammo? Answer a lot of probably angry players right now. Oh uh, no. I bet I probably sound like this or something. Sorry for me being stuffed up. I don't think it's the pollen, because I'm not allergic to pollen. Because over here it's there's like a bunch of pollen warnings and things. I don't think it's that. I just think it's me being sick. I don't think it's the flu though. Not that serious. Okay, this is the area with the boss fight. Now, what I'm, what I'm gonna do is pick out my uh, okay, my current most damaging weapons and hop in. Wait, seriously? No way. Uh, I think there's. I think there's another one. There's gotta be another airline. Right? Whatever. There's one thing I like. I used to do, like doing when I was like really long. I when I was really long, really long, real young. I used to like doing this for some reason. Like line it up. I do it in Half Life 2 Deathmatch mainly. There we go. This. And now I'd push it around. Don't ask me why. I just used to do it. I guess it was fun for me to do. Plus, you could do that, so. Okay. Normally, this, these tiny little areas is supposed to be broken by the airline guard, but the airline guard uh, died, so, like, really quickly. Where do these doors come from? Oh, yeah. 
from this breaking point. I do really like the uh, the construction of this level, though, because you feel confined. You're trapped, and you have to run around the same area just so you can get past this airline guard. This huge guy who wants to basically eat your face off. And of course, you don't want your face to be eaten no, off, so you have to run around and shoot him, and there's explosive barrels everywhere. It's actually a pretty fun map. I like it. Or layout. Go out there. Die so I don't have to. <laughs> oh, by the way, block these things up with heavy things and they won't be able to get out. This is a light block though. So, once that guy dies, it just kinda. Okay. Like he doesn't care. Because he doesn't. He truly doesn't care. That's a good thing. Wait. Oh, I'm be able to stuff the barrels down there. Sorry for that obscene noise. Oh. Alright, let me actually play the game rather than me being stupid. The other thing playing the game is actually funnier and more fun to watch. I then watching me be stupid. But being stupid is fun. I tried to do that in my voice because I'm working with the same. I don't know. I'm tired. I'm recording this thing. Quite really late. So don't blame me for any stupidity in this video. Well, the excess of it. Because I'm not being kind of stupid. Okay. Alright. Like that. That's funny. Well, I'm gonna end this episode here, Dragons. If you liked the, the episode, remember to drop by a like and maybe even subscribe to the channel. <clears throat> Sorry for my stuffed upness. Nissnessness. Anyway, see you later.